Hi, welcome to a new update of Sanctus Library. We are going to see all the new features and materials. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, the first uh, thing is that um, Sanctus Library is now compatible with Blender 4.0. Now every material has a link here to go to the documentation related to that specific material. We will see a preview of the four presets, uh, some technical details. Here you have the parameters and what they do. We also have a, a gallery of uh, user renders. I invite you to, to participate. You can join the Discord and post your renders there and you can be featured here. On call, we have here a video by Riley using this material, modeling clay. This documentation is seen by close to 500 users a day, so it's also a bit of a way to expose or show your work. We have a new search system. So this is a bit different because I'm using a version that it's, it's al already has changes that will be on the next update. But uh, search will open a pop-up and you can search on, a, uh, for example, bricks. Basically, this search uh, by name and category. Maybe in the future we will add uh, keywords too. For example, metal, and we can see it. in the previous version you have to hit enter after you you type the the search in order to execute. We have a new filter that you can search uh, materials that require or not UVs, for example. If I choose to filter this, I have the option to say only materials that uh, don't require UVs or the ones that do require. The geometry nodes assets, where also the parameters are now organized in drop down menus like this. It's a bit easier to find the, what you're looking for. There's a new option when you use uh, materials with displacement. Let's see, materials, buildings. I will use this one. Subdivision surface. Since I am in Cycles Experimental, I can use the adaptive subdivision. And I will set this to simple. Now I apply this material. I added here inside the active material properties. You will see the controls, the parameters for this material. For example, I can change the color. Sometimes you may want to use the displacement uh, as pump, for example, so you can avoid using uh, adaptive subdivision. Of course, the result is not, not the same because it's just pump, but you can completely uh, remove the subdivisions. This is just a plane, um, depending on the distance and the use that you will give to this material. You can use it with bump. This will only show for materials that are using displacement by default. So if you use, for example, this one that, that doesn't use displacement, this option won't show. The next updates are a bit related because now we can, we can bake materials with multiple floats. For example, I will add a monkey. This won't show unless you have a material assigned. So we will apply any material here. And now you can see we have the material slots. This works exactly the same as in the shading, just this here, but this way you can control everything without uh, leaving the panel. There's also an option in the preferences to hide this in case you don't want to use it or you want to have your panel a bit more compact. Same for the filters. The new materials. This was a bit dedicated to tiles 
and I try to find interesting patterns, you will see diamond corner. You can control pretty much everything. In the tiles we have the size. As you can see, the diamonds are not affected by this. Here we have a rotation. Here we can control the, the size of the diamond. There are color variation by tile. Uh, we have some here the details. We have the, the dirt. Well, we have presets, of course. Mixed tiles. This Roman pattern. We also have this star diamond. Subway tiles. This one uses displacement, so so in order to see the the displacement, we have to add a subdivision. Something I use for the renders of the materials, and I created this for you. There are two patterns, and this one has the option to have a dashed line or not. We have the color of the background, the color of the grid. You can change the emission. For example, this is another preset. This one uses emission. If you use EV. And we have this one also. We have this procedural bubble wrap material. Thermal blanket material. Okay, now to the baking and the decal baking. We are going to create a, an object with two materials. We are going to bake it. And we are going to also bake decals on it and combine everything. Let's start with a monkey. Now we go to metals, smart metal, apply material. Okay, now material slots. I will add a second material slot. I will go to edit mode with tab and first we deselect. Now we place the pointer on one of the eyes and press L. The other one, L, we are selecting the islands here and we will assign the second material to those islands. And now we leave edit mode and if you select the first one, we would, you will replace this material. If you select the second slot, you can assign a new material only to the eyes. Apply material. Okay, this is important when you're going to bake a material that has many slots or multiple slots. You, you have to be sure that the parts using different materials are separated in an, in an island and they have enough margin for the baking. They cannot overlap or be extremely close to each other because the margin will uh, ruin the, the baking. So this is a good example of how you can do it. The eyes are separated and the baking will not overlap. Then we go to shading with N. We have the panel here. Also, I just want to comment that we have a lot of new shader tools in the utilities here because I was playing with uh, normals and combining normals so I created everything I uploaded everything here and we will use some of these to combine a material baking with a decal baking this is what we have procedurally if you just have a single material let's go to slot one you still basically do the same as before 
I will hide this and we, we will focus on the Sanctus Baking panel here. You can either right click the node group that you want to bake output from, or you can select it and press this button. It's the same. You will see this or this. Here you select the maps you want to bake color, metallic roughness, and normal in my case. Okay. I will bake it in 2K. You have the maps here. You can change the name if you want. And what sockets are assigned to it. Okay. In this case, we have a color bake map that will bake with this output here, basically the color. Same for metallic, roughness, and normal. The difference is we can change slot now, and this is another material. And instead of just uh, right clicking here, we will add to the ones we already have. So the color bake, we will add the color of this new material or new slot. So these are two different materials, the name 01 and 03. Here I will add the metallic, the roughness, and the normal. Here you have auto margin, it's fine for our case. You can uncheck this and select a, a number of your choice. And here we have the samples for each bake. I will bake with four, the normal maybe a bit more. Now I will change to solid viewport. Everything is ready. I will hit bake and this will take uh, a, a moment depending on your system, depending on the materials, the resolution, the samples, but it will, it will say here baking. And when that changes back to bake, it means that it finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, this took around 30 seconds on my, my computer. And you can see this changes back to bake. And here we have the bake results. You can click the thumbnails here to see the result. And you can see how the eyes are, have a, a different color, a different material. Now, how we can recreate this material, but with the baked textures and not procedural. I will create a new material and I will use my bake here. If you press this button, you will get all the textures at the same time, or you can bring them uh, one by one here. In case you want them locally, remember to save them. I will use them like this for now. So we have the color bake the metallic, roughness, and the normal has to go to a normal map, color, and as you can see now, the material is no longer procedural, but looks exactly the same. It's super fast, of course, and we have the, the two materials baked. Let's say we want to also bake a uh, decal on this object. So I will go to my add-on, decals, and I will add something to it. When you see something like this, that it's not exactly a square, you can increase the projecting distance. This is because I will uh, and apply this. This is not touching, as you can see, the projection is not touching the object. So if we increase that, that will fix the, the issue. You can also remove the, the back. Okay, we have that. I will add damage, for example. And here I will place another thing. Also, while placing the decals, now we have some options. You can shift and use the mouse wheel to change the size before you place it. We select again our object that is that contains the decals. You can see if I hide them, there's nothing there. I will clear this so you don't get confused with what we did before. We will go to decal baiting. And we will select the maps that we want, not the mission in this case, because you know, we are not using uh, the normal. 
In this case, you may want to make it a bit uh, larger since if you can imagine this, these decals are like uh, 500 pixels approximately the texture. So if you bake something that is uh, a texture that is that contains them, that is small, the resolution will be will be bad. So I will use maybe even 4K here. Okay, I change back to solid. Everything selected. I will hit bake. Okay, this is done, and we have here decal, metallic, roughness, etc. Okay, so the idea here is that we have to mix the material with the uh, decal. Manually, this will be something like this. We will use the decal textures on top. And this is manually, I will show you a, an easier way. Uh, I will use mix, in this case color, and everything will be mixed with the alpha channel of the decal albedo. Let's see how that looks. We have the decals here and the rest is uh, transparent, so we can use that to mix. Okay, so mix, the part that has white is in the mask, is the one that has the decal, so I will plug this on the bottom and the color of the material on the top. And this will be basically our map. Let's hide the decals for a moment. As you can see, the color is correctly mixed here, and we can plug this on the base color. We can do the same for every map, uh, metallic roughness. The normal is a bit more tricky. We could mix them, but it's better to add them, and I will explain. Let's say you have a texture on this uh, material with a bump, that in our case we do have, as you can see, and we want to transfer some of that to our decal because it's placed uh, or sticked uh, to the surface. And I did forgot to do something because I wanted to have a bump on my decals, so we will do that simply. We will do that by selecting just the normal to make. I will bring back my decals, select this, and I will bump to one. And the same for the other. Now I will back again, selecting the object, normal, decal, back. Okay, since I have this button clicked, this will replace the, the map that I have here. Otherwise, it will create another one with a 0 0.001. The difference is that now in our normal here, let's hide the decals again. As you can see, we have a bump. So a simple way to mix this is we go to we go to the node panel and here you will find combine decal and texture bake. We add this and as you can see we have all the inputs here. I will use alpha mask, the one that we used to, to mix, decal color. Decal metallic, decal roughness, and for the decal normal, we will use this. And here we will plug material color, material metallic, material roughness, and my normal map. Let's change this to zero for the moment. And here we we'll plug this. And we have the bake. If I use this parameter here, I will start transferring a bit of this texture here to the decal, as you can see there. This is up to you, maybe just a bit. Okay, to bake this in a single uh, texture instead of having all these mixes and stuff, you can bake this output here. You will have to uh, uncheck this so we don't replace the ones that we are using here. 
because the name would be the same, Susan Colorbeck. We select the new maps, color metallic roughness, and normal. Remember this unchecked, solid view, and bake. And as you can see, uh, we have two different bakes here, since we didn't replace them. We have a zero zero ones, and you can see the colors include also the decals, so we can just Remove everything here, uh, just a principal shader. Bring everything here and color metallic normal map color. And we plug this. And we have everything together. And as you can see in the normals, we have the, the decals also, and part of the texture it's going through. I think that covers mostly the baking process. There's a lot of small fixes and updates that you can check in the changelog also, in the documentation. I hope you have liked this update. It was, this was the sixth uh, update of the year. Thanks for all your support, and see you in the next one.